Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're out here on the Buffalo River in Arkansas. Me and my buddy Jake, we're gonna float down 25 miles until it empties into the White River. Um, we've got three or four days and we're just gonna camp and fish and uh, so it should be fun. Um, this is the third attempt to plan this trip. The first two times got canceled due to high water, but uh, this time um, we've actually got low water, but it's floatable, so should be fun. No rain in the forecast for the next three or four days. Highs in the upper 80s, 90s, lows down into the, the low 60s. Never been here before. We're gonna take our time. Uh, we've got four days to do it. We may finish in two and a half. It may take us all the, four, the whole four days. We have no specific plan, but just enjoy ourselves um, out here in the wilderness. So we're using Buffalo River floats as our shuttle service. So they're gonna drive our truck down. That way when we float down, our truck will be down at, uh, at Riley's. Very hospitable, um, very friendly, and uh, gave us a lot of information about the river. So <clears throat> it's Saturday, September 30th. We got on the river about one o'clock and uh, we're gonna float however long, set up camp, and then do that again for a couple more days. Just an absolute beautiful, beautiful river here in the Ozarks of uh, Arkansas. Plans just to fish, have a good time, and uh, make it to the truck. Um, but been looking forward to this trip for a long time. Glad we finally made it happen, and so should be a fun few days. Water so clear. <laughs> oh, get it. There's a little one. <laughs> That's cool. I saw him come up and get it. He's not a big one, but it's cool watching him feed. That was awesome. Little bitty guy. See you later. Not a bad. Decent. That's not a bad fish. Yeah, he's all right. He's all right. Man, what a pretty fish though. Look at that fish. Is. All right, we went about four miles here. We had to do quite a bit of paddling just to make some um, make some headway. We fished quite a bit at the beginning and paddled last mile or two, but uh, found a pretty good camping spot right here and uh, gonna get camp set up and eat some grub and enjoy this beautiful evening. So, Jake, how many fish how have, you, have you caught? How many fish uh, have you got? Seven. Seven? Two, yeah, you got two that were, one that was 17 inches and one that was 18 inches? Yeah. So he's caught two chunkers and uh, I've caught a bunch of small ones, but uh, 
he's catching them mostly off of a, a Ned rig, and uh, most of mine have been on a uh, on a fly rod on a uh, tan, uh, like double deceiver, sex dungeon type fly. But um, yeah, found us a good flat spot here that we're gonna set up at. And, um, enjoy the evening. All right, well, good morning. Day number two. It's a beautiful morning, foggy, little breeze, about 60 degrees, and um, had a fantastic day yesterday, and I'm uh, hoping to do it again today. But uh, went about four miles yesterday. We're gonna try to make up some make up some uh, time today, and I'd like to do 10 miles today. But um, just an awesome, awesome place. Nobody around, just out in the middle of the wilderness. Pretty cool. So, but we're gonna get on down the river. Oh, that was cool. I saw him come up and take it. <laughs> First fish of the day. I saw him chase it. He's over there in that shade. Hmm. Oh, God, these things hit so, so hard. So much fun. <laughs> they hammer it so hard. Oh, there's a fish down there right up by that rock. Eat that. He's a monster. All right, we've went a few miles today, so we're all in all, we're probably eight miles um, down the river. So, caught a few fish here and there, been a lot, quite a bit of paddling. But, uh, Jake, how many fish have you caught? 20. 20, fish. all about the same size, or all little ones except for maybe two nice. Yeah, nice, nice. yeah, catching fish. There's a bunch of average size fish in here, a bunch of small ones, but um, we've seen a few few good ones floating around. Jake caught a couple yesterday, but uh, hadn't really caught anything 
of size today, but uh, still just a beautiful day, beautiful float. So we're going to do a little paddling, try to make some headway here. And uh, if we find a good hole, we'll stop and fish. But uh, just finished up lunch and uh, got our bellies full. And so we're recharged and going to head back down the river. The water We've had a drag in a few spots, but not too bad. bad. So at least it's not raging or anything like that. We're, we're not we're not really hadn't been in a situation where the rapids or anything like that were really bad where we felt like we were going to tip. So, um, so we're going to mosey on down the river. Just, just switch to a booger. You hit it right off the bat. Nice. This is the biggest fish of the week so far. He's not real big, but he's the biggest one. Don't get off there, buddy. Oh, he's not real big, but we've been floating, just paddling for a few miles, and I've tried some of these big streamers and. And uh, just hitting up a hole here and there and nothing. But as soon as I put that booger on, he hit it. So. Nice. That kind of gave me a little bit more hope. I tried several different streamers. I lost my tan, my tan uh, dungeon that I was using. And uh, hadn't really caught anything since, since I lost both of them tried several different streamers and nothing and I was like I'm gonna put the old trusty booger on and uh, first cast so good deal nice 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 went through greasy greasy shoals what it's called on onyx anyways Yeah, this will work. Yeah, what do you think? All right, here's some bear tracks right here. Where did the tent go? Right here. Yeah, see, here's some bear tracks. Came right up through here. Yeah. Well, um, we found us a good camping spot. Uh, we went about 14 miles today. Um, so we went four miles yesterday, floated about half a day, and then paddled most of the day today. And uh, did a little fishing, but paddled quite a bit. But uh, so we got six miles left tomorrow. But caught a few fish here and there. But like I said, mo mostly just just paddling and enjoying the scenery. But uh, found us a good good camping spot with some sand. Looks like uh, several people have camped here before. But uh, quite a few bear tracks um, around here. So. But yeah, we're going to get camp set up and uh, enjoy another beautiful evening out here on the buffalo. All right, day number three, we got 
camp all packed up and uh, we got about six miles here to go before we get to the white so uh, I've got it marked on my onyx maps I divvied it up into four or six mile sections so this is the last last section here float on down and fish a little bit more today than we did yesterday um, did a lot of paddling yesterday we were pretty worn out but had a great time at camp great great setup here had some sand which was after camping on the rocks uh, camping on the sand was uh, so much more comfortable great camping spot I've got on a woolly booger I'm gonna start off with that this morning do a little bit more fishing and but uh, another beautiful beautiful day out here in the Ozarks so we're gonna go get after it I believe that is elephant rock. Looks like an elephant. Little bitty, but man, beautiful color. Beautiful color. Little bitty guy. Fish seem to be a little smaller down here. I don't know. If we're catching some bigger ones at the beginning, but. I don't know, maybe some better holes down here. A little bigger. Not real big, but compared to what I've been catching. Saw him come up and grab it. Oh, I love the way these fish fight, the way they look. All of them unique markings, but that one's really, really colored up. Beautiful fish. Ah, I wanted that big one. The small one got it instead. <laughs> There's a big one out there. Oh, this guy grabbed it before he could. He's underneath that rock. This is a good spot. We're about a mile away from the white. I was hoping the fishing would be a little better. Maybe the water's a little colder. I don't know, since the they generate water in that water from the White River backs up in here. I thought, well, maybe it'll maybe it'll cool off. Maybe it'll cool the water off. I don't know. Maybe the fish like it. But seems like the fishing is better. I'm seeing a lot more fish. I 
Oh, I just saw a big swamma They're underneath those rocks. Yeah, I just saw, just saw one. Things are tough, dude. Oh, don't go under that stick. Pretty fish. Look how painted this thing is. These things are. Look at that, man. Painted. Well, we made it to the white. The white's right there. Um, our takeout's just on the other side of this island here, but uh, at Riley's Outfitters. So um, we're going to get across the white, and uh, what an awesome few days here on the Buffalo River. Um, lots, of, lots of smallmouth, nothing real big, but uh, still had a blast. Beautiful scenery, great float, great camping weather. Um, so just an awesome awesome trip so but yeah we're gonna cross the white and then uh, we may get into a little trout fishing tomorrow service so that was great just 25 miles of wilderness 